Hey guys, what's going on? Jay with Jay's Two Cents here, and I will be the first to admit that I'm a little bit late to this party. And so I've just been a little bit backed up, and I apologize for being late to this review, but hey, at least it's not, you know, one of those ones that was spammed to your inbox, so it's kind of out here by itself for a little while. Now the Quickfire Rapid Eye, what exactly is the Quickfire Rapid Eye? I mean, they've already had the Quickfire Rapid out. Basically, the Quickfire Rapid Eye is just an intelligent version of the Rapid. That's what the I stands for, intelligent, I believe, intelligence. Or it could stand for indigestion, I'm not entirely sure, uh, but it doesn't really apply in this situation. So I'm pretty sure intelligence is the right, uh, ac the right word for the I in there. Okay, so without drawing this out and making it a really long review of a keyboard, because it's kind of hard for you guys to really grasp what I'm feeling and experiencing with a keyboard. So let's go ahead and talk about features. I'll do a quick typing test and tell you guys what I think. Now, Cooler Master is using the Cherry MX Browns on this particular model. So as you can see, it comes with the white LEDs. Uh, I like that. Now, some people may not like browns and some people may not like white LEDs. They may clash with their build. Maybe they want red, or maybe they want blue. Um, I hope that they will have other color options in the future for LEDs rather than just going with white, but I am personally a fan of the white. But what I really like about this keyboard, um, and actually I'll get to a whole list of kind of pros and cons from my perspective, but it's the level of detail that they put into this. I mean, it looks like just your standard backlit 10 keyless featureless keyboard, but that's not really the case. I mean, they've gotten to a lot of detail. For instance, um, obviously you can see that's the Windows key. The caps lock button, the num lock, and the scroll lock buttons don't have dedicated LEDs that light up anywhere on the screen. So instead what they do is that key cap will either light up or not depending on whether or not that function is activated. So for instance, caps lock when it's off by default is uh, not lit up. But when you turn on caps lock, boom, it's lit up. And the same is for scroll lock and uh, the gamer lock function and all of that. So that's really cool. I like the small amount of detail that has gone into that. Now you do have all of your standard uh, F row keys that do various things. I mean, you've got your brightness level here. Um, I apparently just opened up the WinPad help screen. Okay, so what actually makes the Rapid Eye intelligent? Well, good sir or madam, I am glad you asked. Uh, it's got an onboard 32-bit ARM processor with built-in onboard profiles and memory. So you can set up lighting configurations on this keyboard. They're going to follow you wherever you plug it in. So it's stored on the keyboard in the built-in memory. It's not going to be dependent on software being installed to utilize any of the profiles that you set up. Now that's not new to the industry, but it is something newer for Cooler Master, and I'm glad that they finally decided decided to start incorporating that because I felt that that was, uh, on some of the other keyboard reviews I did for them, I mentioned that I felt that that was a bit lacking. So they debuted this keyboard at CES, we took a look at it there, and I'm very glad that they decided to do that. So I'm gonna give you just a quick demonstration of, as I contort my arm very strangely here, of how that functionality actually works. So let's say right now we want to record what keys we want on for one of the four profiles which are listed here under F9 through 12, M1, 2, 3, and 4. So I hold down function, hit record, keep holding function and choose the profile I want. So in this case, we'll go ahead and do profile M2. Now you can see that's flashing to tell me that I've got M2 activated, but I don't have any keys lit yet because I didn't tell it what keys to light up. So let's say we're playing a shooter. We've got WASD, uh, maybe we've got weapons one through six. Uh, maybe F is grenade or G is grenade. Uh, C for crouch, maybe left shift for sprint. Um, you can illuminate the keyboard if you want that way. And uh, maybe tilde is something and J, I don't know. There you go. So we can say, okay, that's what we've got lit up. That's what we want to actually, you know, utilize for this profile. Hold function, hit F2 or M2 again, and then there it is. You can see that we have now only got the keys illuminated that we want. So you can do that for various profiles here built into the keyboard, giving you a lot of different combinations of different lighting uh, backlight that you can control on here. So like I said, not new to the industry, but new to Cooler Master, and I'm glad that they finally implemented that. Now, they do have a couple of new lighting modes on here that I quite honestly do have some fun with when I'm bored. And I've been using this keyboard for about a month and a half now, so I'm glad to finally get to show you this. Um, let's say we change the lighting to, uh, and here are the built-in lighting modes, obviously. Like I said, we've got Breathe. We've got this one here, which 
as you can see, it just lights up briefly as you type on it. You can't really see it because it's under your finger. It lights up so quickly. But we've also got this trailing mode, which is like, ah, where it kind of goes on and then just sort of fades out behind you. That's really fun, actually, if you're a very fast typer. You like to have some fun with that. So that's just kind of a cool, cool little mode right there. And in fact, if you want to play with that mode and get a good example of what it feels like, you can go onto the website that's linked down in the description. Uh, it's sort of a, uh, a sample page of what it's like to type on this keyboard. So when you type on your keyboard, it'll light up on the screen and show you what that functionality is like. So head on down to the description, check out that uh, website, which will tell you or show you how that functionality feels. Now, when it comes to the bottom, um, it is, uh, it's got nice wide rubber feet. It's got rubber flip out feet so that you can get a nice upward angle. And it's not, I mean, this thing is not, I mean, look at this. That does not slide very easy. So there you go. Now, um, one other thing I want to talk about here is that it does have a nice rubberized finish, a very minimalistic look, so it's not really gaudy or anything like that as you are, uh, you know, maybe going to land parties or stuff. Um, and as we mentioned earlier, it is 10 keyless, so you don't have a 10 key over there, allowing you to have a nice narrow gaming profile as you're, you know, doing your thing. So let's go ahead and just kind of do a quick typing test. Now don't judge me, I'm, I don't type on this keyboard an awful lot, and I'm very used to a 10 keyless, so my hands automatically want to go much farther left than I'm used to. Uh, but anyway, what we'll do here is we'll just make the font massive. And I mean, I have typed on this keyboard quite a bit already, and I really do enjoy it. But let's see, I can just say that I like this keyboard a lot, and I think that most people would probably get used to the 10 key list pretty quickly and I am probably making all kinds of mistakes but that that's okay because I am not very SMRT so I mean typing on it's very nice I'm very used to brown keys um, getting used to this keyboard was pretty easy. But again, 10 keyless is a little weird for me. So guys, this has been the Rapid Eye from Cooler Master CM Storm line of products. Uh, go and check it out down in the description. That webpage is kind of fun just to screw around with. Um, follow me on Twitter if you guys want to talk a little bit more about this product or head on over to Jay's Two Cents where I did do a little written article over there going a little bit more into depth of some of the uh, built-in features of this keyboard. So I'm going to get the heck on out of here. Um, we've got a trip to Chicago coming up. You guys may be watching this way into the future, so I'm referencing something that happened way in the past from the future in a past video. It's kind of a weird time paradox thing going on there. Um, but anyway, guys, I'm going to get on out of here. As always, hope to follow you on some social media, and I will see you in my next video.